want to make sure you know what you can do to keep everyone safe when you're out on the streets tonight. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Twilan Nugent live for us with North Tonawanda Police giving us some tips from the expert. Hi Twilan, good morning. Good morning. It can be a lot of fun tonight, but it can also be pretty dangerous. So we want to make sure everyone is safe from the drivers to the kids going door to door for candy. So we have Officer Cake with the North Tonawanda Police Department with us this morning. Thank you for waking up much earlier than you normally do, but you actually brought us some things that you buy for your own kids to keep them safe. Walk us through what you've got this morning. Sure, I'd love to. Um, I pick up uh, bracelets. They're cheap and expensive. Kids like them. They're colorful. Um, they can wear them on their wrists. You can buy them as necklaces and they show up really good at night. Um, the neon will work very decent to keep them visible also to you as well as hopefully drivers. Um, I bought ref reflective tape. You can put that on the back of your child's costume. You can put it on um, either trick-or-treating bucket, mm -hmm. um, anything that if light from hopefully headlights of a car hit, yeah. they will uh, reflect a flashlight. Um, they mix, give your child a smaller one, carry this one as an adult. I also brought out some uh, LED lights that you can use as an option for uh, pumpkins. So you're not leaving your house, going out trick-or-treating, yeah. and leaving a flame inside your pumpkin. Um, they will work all night and they will look great. So many people forget about that too. So the LED lights, a great idea. Make sure your kids are visible and they can be seen. But for drivers, it's really important because they're seeing so much more pedestrian traffic than normal, right? Absolutely. So we ask that if you do have to go out tonight and you have to drive to your location, please give yourself extra time. Uh, drive a little slower. There's going to be a lot of kids out. Uh, our trick-or-treating time is 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. Uh, they do vary in different townships, mm -hmm. uh, but that seems to be the norm for most uh, Western New York. Just slow down. Uh, little kids are excited. They're not paying attention. They may dart out from a, from a car, and nobody wants that tragedy on Halloween. Absolutely, and we do have a list of some trick-or-treat times in Western New York for you on our website, but also just remember when you get home to look through all that candy before your kids tear into it and start eating whatever they can. Make sure you're looking through it for any tampered packages, and the North Tonawana Police Department has said if you have any concerns, you can give them a call and they can help you out or direct you in the right place to help you look through it. We're live here in North Tonawanda this morning. I'm Twila Nugent, 7 Eyewitness News. Okay, Twila.